How does marine debris help unveil the mysteries of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370's final resting place? What can the movement and patterns of ocean currents tell us about the tragic events of this fateful flight? Is it possible that through the relentless pursuit of answers beneath the waves, we might finally piece together the puzzle of MH370 and bring closure to one of aviation's most perplexing mysteries? Join us on this fascinating journey of discovery and determination. Let's unravel the secrets of the deep and seek the truth together. Welcome to Aviation Chronicles. Subscribe and let's dive in. It's the world's greatest aviation enigma. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, a Boeing 777 carrying 239 passengers, suddenly vanished. What caused this to happen and where is it now? The solution can be found someplace below the bottom of the Indian Ocean. Imagine if we could drain the seas, revealing the mysteries of the seafloor. We can now. We are penetrating the deep waters with cutting-edge underwater scanning equipment and converting accurate data into 3D photos. This time, we look into important puzzles surrounding Malaysia Airlines 370 thanks to exclusive access to the official inquiry. What may prior air mishaps teach us? Can Cold War technology gather important information from the deep sea? What mysteries could be concealed in the tangled wreckage if the plane is found? As we begin our adventure, we will first unearth the timeline of MH370's terrible flight. It will take a six-hour trip from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014. However, when it approaches Vietnamese airspace, it abruptly disappears off the radar of air traffic control. A contemporary commercial airplane carrying 239 passengers has gone missing, with no mayday call and no debris at the last radar contact point. The Malaysian government initiated the largest and most costly aviation probe in history. The hunt for answers is flooded with dead ends, false leads and conjecture. The Malaysian military intercepts the jet, which returns across Malaysia, heads northwest and disappears from the radar range just north of Sumatra. This astonishing discovery raises various issues concerning the plane's unusual course. Space technology offers a fresh hint. Despite being lost to radar, MH370 kept on exchanging heartbeat signals with an Inmarsat satellite across the Indian Ocean, allowing analysts to determine its path. The flight route and distance from the satellite form arcs that direct search attempts. As investigators examine the data, they discover that MH370 kept flying for hours after vanishing from civilian radar. The search region is now 3,000 kilometres south within the control of the Australian government. The Australian-led search operation launched a massive operation in the wide and lonely southern Indian Ocean which quickly became one of the most comprehensive and baffling in aviation history. Typically, the search for a missing aircraft begins with the finding of surface wreckage. But in this case, such evidence proved elusive. Despite two years of rigorous and comprehensive investigation, the crew faced a tremendous challenge, the need to dive into the depths of the deep sea, an undiscovered world that guaranteed to test their mettle and ingenuity in ways few had ever encountered before. The search for Air France Flight 447 teaches MH370 investigators crucial lessons. Finding a plane in deep water is extremely difficult, even with debris and a correct final position. Wreckage on the ocean floor can be kilometres apart from surface debris, which is dispersed over time by ocean currents. The hunt for Air France Flight 447 exemplifies the difficult obstacles that deep sea searches bring. The search for the wreckage took two years and cost millions of dollars, emphasising the complexities inherent in such missions. At great depths, the ocean floor is a hazardous environment. This harsh environment is characterised by high water pressure, freezing temperatures, total darkness, and hiding risks that make the work extremely tough. Similarly, the hunt for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 was fraught with difficulties. The early attempts, which lasted two weeks, were aimed at scouring the ground for debris, but had no results. Following that, investigators focused on the aircraft's black box data recorders, which were outfitted with underwater locating beacons, ULBs. These beacons emit vital pings, which provide a lifeline for search and rescue crews. However, there is an urgent worry since the ULBs have a limited battery life. 
The clock begins to tick as the search team begins an unwavering chase, scanning the enormous expanse of the water for 15 days with a combination of ships and planes. The identification of interference during the early phase adds to the complexity of the work at hand. The battle against time becomes apparent as every second counts in the dash to discover the black boxes before the ULB's batteries die. The combination of modern technology, professional staff, and sheer willpower is critical in reaching the vast and mysterious depth of the ocean, where the answers to these aviation riddles are concealed. Amid the grief and confusion surrounding the loss of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, a ray of hope appeared when a hydrophone strategically placed off the coast of Western Australia caught a peculiar sound. This audio signature was discovered 74 minutes after MH370's last contact with the Inmarsat satellite, reigniting interest in the search for the missing airliner. A new stage in the inquiry was begun with the assistance of specialized technology capable of precisely determining the sound source in terms of both direction and distance. As the undersea scanning phase began, the depths of the ocean revealed a fascinating world that had hitherto been hidden from human sight. During the hunt, geological treasures such as towering cliffs, fault lines, and even underwater volcanoes were uncovered. Despite this breathtaking search, the primary aim remained elusive because no sign of the aircraft itself was discovered. The search for explanations continued, and ultimately, a flaperon-shaped piece of wreckage washed up on Reunion Island. This finding was vital in proving that MH370 had met its awful end in the wide expanse of the ocean. The inquiry took an interesting turn when amateur wreck hunter Blaine Gibson joined the search operation and discovered many additional pieces of wreckage around the Indian Ocean's western shore. Examinations of the wreckage fragments revealed new information about the plane's demise. They believed that MH370 had met a catastrophic end, crashing into the ocean with great velocity and leaving no trace of any planned ditching operations. Furthermore, the condition of some wreckage revealed that the flaps were retracted at the moment of impact, lending credence to the predominant opinion that the jet crashed due to fuel exhaustion. While many questions remained, these findings moved investigators one step closer to solving the riddles surrounding the tragic flight. The findings of Blaine Gibson, together with oceanographer David Griffin's research of ocean currents, point to a new possible crash location near 35 degrees south. Despite these clues, the hunt for MH370 was suspended in early 2017. As a result, the MH370 mystery remains unsolved leaving the relatives of the dead yearning for answers and closure. Thank you for watching and follow for more.